Questions 11 through 20 on the 2019 Grade 9 Pascal Math Contest. In a magic square, the numbers in each row, the numbers in each column, and the numbers in each diagonal have the same sum. In the magic square shown, the value of x is. Well, first let's figure out what is that sum. That's the only row that has all the numbers, and when you add them up, it gives you 9. Okay, so that means every row, every column, every diagonal has got to add up to 9. So let's say this is y and this is z. So this would give me that 2.3 plus 3.6 plus y is equal to 9. So solving for that, you get y is equal to 3.1. And then we can use that to figure out something eventually. Let's figure out the z with the diagonal. I think that will help. So 2.3 plus 3 plus z is 9. So that means that z is 3.7. Okay, so now I'm ready to figure out x. So 3.1 for y plus x plus 3.7 for z, z, whatever is 9, so that means x is 2.2. And therefore, number 11, the answer is E. In the diagram, P, R, and Q, S meet at x. Also, P, X, Q is right angled at Q. And Q, P, X is 62. And R, X, S is isosceles with R, X equal to F, S, X, and X, S, R is Y. The value of Y is. Ugh. You got a little bit of a tongue twister there. Okay, so this is 90, so we can easily figure out that angle, right? It's just 90 minus 62. And 90 minus 62 is, what is that? 28. So 28 goes in here. So by opposite angles, that's also going to be 28. And because this is isosceles, those two are the same. This is also Y. So that means y plus y plus 28 is 180. So that means 2y is equal to 180 minus 28, which is 152, and therefore y would be 76. Number 12, the answer is C. The list PQRS consists of four consecutive integers listed in increasing order. If P plus S is 109, the value of Q plus R is. P, Q, R, S, consecutive, so X, X plus 1, X plus 2, X plus 3. And then P plus S, so that would be X plus X plus 3, which is 2X plus 3, is equal to 109. And they want you to figure out Q plus R. Q plus R is X plus 1 plus X plus 2. So that's going to be 2x plus 3. Oh, that's the same. So therefore, that's 109 also. Okay. Number 13, the answer is B. Many of the students in M. Gamachi's class brought a skateboard or a bicycle to school yesterday. The school, the ratio of the number of skateboards to the number of bicycles was 7 to 4. There were 12 more skateboards than bicycles. How many skateboards and bicycles were there in total? Okay. So S over B, they're saying, is 7 over 4, skateboards over bicycles. And they're also saying that S is equal to B plus 12. That's this is directly from the question stem. So I guess I can substitute that into there and then solve for B. So B plus 12 is going to be the put there over B is 7 over 4. And cross multiply and you get 4B plus 48 is equal to 7B. So 48 is equal to 3B. B is therefore equal to 16. And therefore S is 16 plus 12. So S is 28. And what do they want? Total uh, bicycles and skateboards. So that's 16 plus 28. And therefore that would be 44. So at number 14, the answer is A. Sophie has written three tests. Her marks were 73, 82, and 85. She still has two tests to write. All tests are equally weighted. 
Her goal is an average of 80 or higher, which, with which of the following pairs of marks on the remaining tests will Sophie not reach her goal? 73 plus 82 plus 85, and then her next two tests, let's call them X plus Y. That average, she wants at least 80. Okay, so at least 80, so greater than or equal to 80. So if I do this math here, I get 240 plus X plus Y, and if I cross multiply, I get 400? Yeah, 400. So that means X plus Y has got to be greater than 160. Okay, so the two tests have to add up to greater than or equal to 160. So let's see which one does and which one doesn't. This one does, this one does, this one does, this one does. 83 plus 73, however, is only equal to 156. So that is the only one that does not match our condition that it has to be greater than or equal to 160. So number 15, the answer is D. If x is a number less than negative 2, which of the following expressions has the least value? Well, as always, just choose a number. It's less than negative 2, so let's choose uh, negative 4. And now let's figure out each of these. Well, this is just negative 4. This would be negative 2. This would be negative 2. This would be negative 6. And this would be negative 8. So which one has the least value? Well, obviously this one. Number 16, the answer is E. Hagrid has 100 animals. Among these animals, each is either striped or spotted, but not both. Each has either wings or horns, but not both. There are 28 striped animals with wings, there are 62 spotted animals, and there are 36 animals with horns. How many of Hagrid's spotted animals have horns? So there's 100 in total. And they are in two categories. The first category is striped. And the second category is spotted. And then each of those is further broken down into two categories, either wings or horns. So the spotted also are either winged or horned. OK, let's start filling in the numbers now. 28 striped animals with wings. So this number is 28 down here. Striped animals with wings, that category. 62 spotted, so just spotted. OK, so th these guys, this part of the diagram is 62. And therefore, since the total is 100, 100 minus 62, which is 38, must be that part of the diagram. 36 animals with horns. OK. Well, before I tackle that, I think I can get this by just subtracting 28 from 38, right? Because there's 38 in total. 28 have already been assigned to the wing department. So this would be 10. Now, let's go back and look at that. 36 animals with horns. Well, 10 of them are over here, so that means the other 26 must be here. Yeah. So now they want what? Spotted animals with horns. Spotted with horns is this category, and that is 26. So number 17, the answer is E. In the diagram, each of QPT, QTS, and QSR is an isosceles right angle triangle. QPT equals QTS equals QSR equals 90 degrees. If the combined area of the three triangles is 56, and uh, QP is equal to PT equals K, what is the value of K? All right. Well, uh, I think I'm going to have to label some things here. I'll call this side Y, and then therefore this is Y because they're isosceles. I'll call this side z and that side z, since that's isosceles as well. So by Pythagoras, k squared plus k squared is equal to y squared. So 2k squared is equal to y squared. By Pythagoras, again, y squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. So 2y squared is equal to z squared. And z squared in terms of k, well, y squared is 2k squared. So that means z squared is equal to 4k squared. All right, now let's go to the areas. Total area is 56, so that's going to be 1 half base times height, so k times k, plus 1 half base times height, y times y, plus 1 half base times height, z times z. So 56 is equal to k squared over 2 
plus y squared over 2 plus z squared over 2. Now substitute everything in terms of k, k squared over 2, y squared is what? Um, right here, 2k squared. So 2k squared over 2 plus z squared uh, is 4k squared over 2. So this is 7k squared over 2 is equal to 56. So 2 times 56 is 112, and then divide through by 7 is k squared. And then 112 over 7 is 16. So k squared is 16, so that means k is equal to 4. Number 18, the answer is C. 3 identical red balls and 3 identical green balls are in a pail. 4 of these balls are selected at random and then these 4 balls are arranged in a line in some order. How many different looking arrangements are possible? We can have either 4 red, 3 red and 1 green, 2 red, 2 green, 1 red and 3 green. We can't have 4 green because there's only 3 green balls. Okay, so for each of these, let's see what we can do. If there's four red, there's only one way of arranging them, R, 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 like that. If there's three red and one green, we can arrange them as follows, either R, R, G, R, R, G, R, R, G, R, R, or the G in front, like this. So we got four. 2G, two 2R. Two I think that's going to be 6 because I've done these questions so many times, but I'm going to write them out for you. R, R, G, G, R, G, G, R, G, G, R, R. And I can also write R, G, R, G. Uh, what's the next one? G, R, G, R. And then finally, G's on either side like that. That gives me 6 more. And then 1, R, 3, G. Well, that's an easy one. You just have to put... 1R, so you just move the 1R into different positions like that. Oops. G, 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 R. Okay, that's it. So let's count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, number 19, the answer is 8. In the diagram, square PQRS has a side length of 40. Points J, K, L, M are on the sides of PQRS as shown so that J, Q equals K, R equals L, S equals M, P equals 10. Line segments J, Z, K, W, L, X, and M, Y are drawn parallel to the diagonals of the square so that W is on J, Z, X is on K, W, Y is on L, do, L, X, and Z is on M, Y. What is the area of quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z? Okay. So let's draw some lines here, and I think those lines will help us. The first is going to be a, a cross like this, so like that. And the second one is going to be a cross like that. And then I'll draw one line sort of top to bottom like this. Okay, so here we go. 40 is the side length, and 10 is is the lengths of these guys, these little guys. So that means this would be 30. In a very similar way, that's 10 and that's 30, that's 10 and that's 30, that's 10 and that's 30, like that. Okay, so that means if top to bottom is 40, side length is 40, and this is 10, right? It's the same as that, so that's 10, and same thing, that's 10, same as this, then that means that this in the middle would be 40 minus 10 minus 10, which is 20. And then the side length uh, of this shape, which I'm confident is a square, uh, because these are going to be right angles, since it tells you in the question that this is parallel to the diagonal of the big square then that's going to be right angles. And because of the symmetry, symmetry of this diagram, these, this side will be the same as that side. So that's essentially a square. So I'll just call it having x as its side length. So in this triangle, if you look at it, you have a Pythagorean relationship. x squared plus x squared is equal to 20 squared. So 2x squared is equal to 400. 
x squared is equal to 200. And x squared represents the area of that square. So number 20, the answer is B.